another point, how would you evaluate uh, young receivers, how their development has gone, and, and where they might still need to grow a little bit? Uh, you know, that it's everyone wants to analyze every specific guy, and sometimes uh, their development and their production uh, depends on a lot of other factors. I like uh, what they're doing. Uh, we're way ahead of where we've been. Uh, I think they're competitive, playing fast. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes they're, they're, they're limited opportunities, but that has nothing to do with them. Uh, it has to do with how we're playing. Uh, so I think we're growing and we'll continue to get better. I, you know, that's, we talked about that last time we talked. I think they're young guys that, uh, you know, really didn't have a route running system style coming out of college. I think uh, they're making great strides. You mentioned last year when Cam was not practicing very much, how it ultimately could catch up with you not having him out there. How's it been having? You know, a guy out there each week and Kyle that's, that's practicing, going through everything. How how more efficient do you think that's going to be? Well, it's normal. You know, that's the way that's why you know you operate uh, in this league uh, when you can, and uh, particularly a young guy if he doesn't have an opportunity to get all the reps and uh, see as many different looks as he can. And then you know you're you're going to be uh, you're going to struggle a little bit. Norm, understanding you're not a doctor or trainer, do you think? You'll have Cam back, you know, playing at some point this season. Uh, you prefaced it perfectly right. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a trainer. Uh, you know, when he's back, we'll be excited to have him back. But uh, you know, he's—I know he's doing everything he can to get back with us. And you get you get reports on it. Does it seem like he's at least moving in the right direction? Well, I think uh, you should try to get the reports I get. Okay, we'll take them. Yeah, I know. I've known Shane for uh, a long time, yeah. What, what are your thoughts on him? He just got promoted yesterday, uh, two days ago. Yeah, he's, he's uh, you know, a sharp guy. Uh, I hired him as, a, as crazy as a defensive assistant, and then he, uh, he worked on the offensive side with us in Cleveland. Uh, he's been in San Diego. He knows the system. He's very familiar uh, with all the coaches, obviously with Phillip. I think he'll, he'll be real good. I, I don't get caught up in the leadership thing. I, you know, when you're a young player, you, you got everything you can handle to get ready to play on a weekly basis. And getting ready to play on a weekly basis in this league is one of the most challenging things there is for a young player because every week it's a it's a new look, it's a new defense, it's a new personnel. Uh, they do totally different things. Uh, so not only. Does a quarterback have to prepare that way? But everyone else on the offense has to prepare that way. So we've got a strong leadership on our offensive side of the ball, on our football team. Uh, uh, Kyle just needs to get ready to play. Kyle, have you seen him handle that Norv as he comes in each week and with a fresh slate? How has he done with that? He does, he's done it the same way. Uh, that's why, why he's in the position he's in. Once he got back here, uh, you know, he's been all football. Uh, I'm talking about a year ago, and uh, when he got the opportunity to play, he's uh, done everything to get himself ready. Uh, you know, and he's uh, he's growing as a player. Uh, obviously, when you're a young player, you're going to have uh, some ups and downs. Uh, he he was rolling awfully good, and we ran into a you know a little bit of a buzzsaw, an outstanding defense, an outstanding team, and now we have to rebound from it. Norv, you mentioned the, the Niners being a bit of a buzzsaw. <coughs> For as good as that defense was, you guys had success running the ball. How disappointing was it that you couldn't really stick to it just with the circumstances of the game? And how important is it going to be this week to try to get that run game going against Tennessee? Well, we, we need to be balanced. We need to run the football. Uh, you know, I, I don't try to evaluate one way or the other. You know, games come up a different way, and you do what you can in that game. And then, uh, as I said, you put it behind you and you get ready for the next uh, team you're playing. This team's ninth in the league in defense, or an outstanding run defense, or physical front. Uh, they pre present a lot of problems for the offensive players. They present a lot of problems for the quarterback. Uh, we're going to have to play at a real high level. How are they going to attack in Tennessee? They're very aggressive. They're very aggressive. They're very competitive. Uh, you know, they've. Uh, 
they played pretty good defense, and they played uh, better defense, uh, you know, as uh, they've played. When they play move the ball, keep the ball on offense, it's helped their defense. We talk a lot about, or over the past couple of years, we've talked a lot about position flexibility on the offensive line, guard, tackle, moving all around. Is there such a thing as a flexible wide receiver that can play multiple spots? The, the good ones I've been around play, can play any spot. And uh, our guys, we move them around a lot, and they play all the spots. And obviously, as they grow uh, with experience, uh, they'll, we'll do more of that. Does it make it harder for guys when, they're, when they are younger because of just the system is so complicated that you guys have? Oh, I don't know that the system's that complicated. We've had a lot of guys have uh, pretty good success with the system. I, I think... Uh, it's preferable that guys line up and, and play where they play, uh, but obviously if they have the flexibility to move around, uh, it gives them more opportunities to be involved. Hey, Norm, when you first got here, was, this, was that your first time kind of working and getting to know John Matsko, and then what have you learned about him and his coaching style over the past couple years? I've known John for a long time. It's the first time I've worked with him, and, uh, you know, he's as thorough as I've been around. Uh, he's creative. Uh, he's demanding of the offensive line. He's what you want in an offensive line coach. Norm, how would you assess the play of uh, your, your outside wide receivers in recent weeks? I think they're playing good. I think they're doing what we ask them to do. And again, they can't control the opportunities they get. Uh, they can control how they play, how they compete. And uh, I think they've done a good job with that. Would you consider Kyle's game a setback or just a learning experience? I think, uh, I think for everyone on our offensive team, uh, you've got to you've got to grow and you've got to learn from every experience. If, if, if it's a game you won in Tokyo and different things happen, that you got to learn from it. You go to the next week. Uh, obviously, we haven't been behind. We haven't played from behind uh, for a half like we did. Sunday, you got to learn from that. How to how to play in that environment? How to give yourself a chance to get back in the game? We we kind of tried to. We got we got a touchdown there and got the two point conversion. It would have been nice. You know, you, you'd like to say, hey, we had had another shot. We didn't. But uh, you have to learn how to take care of the ball in those situations. You have to learn that the defense is going to play you differently. So I think it's a, it's it's an opportunity to be a learning experience for every single guy that played in the game. I would, I would agree because Ron said it. Now, I don't break it down. I don't get that general. I look at specific each play and what happened on each play and what your, what's your job on each play, what's your read, what's your responsibility, uh, and then we go from there and correct those. Was, there, was there a trend that emerged on Sunday? Uh, I don't I, I, Like I say, uh, it's hard for me to say a trend because I'm evaluating each and every single play. Specifically speaking on the post interception, just – no, he. I. I've seen. Uh, we had an outside linebacker, Sean Phillips, who did that three or four times to Peyton Manning. And if the guy doesn't get cut and the ball's in the air, it's nothing the quarterback can do. And you'd like to see him to see it sooner. But he, if he if he waits to throw it, uh, there's a bunch of guys going to hit the back right in the face. So uh, we just got to get the guy on the ground and keep him on the ground. And we did it every time we cut him, except that one.